In the circus show that is college basketball, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons are gearing up to duke it out with the Pittsburgh Panthers. Picture it. January 31, 2024, 7 p.m. EST, Peterson Events Center, where drama's on the menu and basketball's the side dish. The Deacons, riding a 13-6 wave, just got schooled by number three North Carolina, while the Panthers, at a modest 12-8, are still moping from a close shave loss to Miami. It's like a battle of who can bounce back less embarrassingly. Wake Forest is tossing balls like they're on fire, averaging 80.2 points per game, while Pittsburgh's playing guard dog at the three-point line. Basically, it's the basketball equivalent of Godzilla versus King Kong, if Godzilla was scoring points and Kong had a thing against three-pointers. ESPN's probably thrown some dice, said a couple of Hail Marys, and decided Wake Forest has the edge, with their fancy free-throw shooting and all. But let's be real, counting on college basketball predictions is like expecting water in the desert. But hey, Pittsburgh's got the home court, and there's that old saying about home being the launch pad for miracles, or something like that. So, while the smarty pants money is on Wake Forest, don't snooze on Pittsburgh pulling a fast one with a little home court voodoo. So, who will rule the court in this madhouse? My money's on Wake Forest because let's face it, offense is king and free throws are the jester that could tip the crown. But, in the grand scheme of college hoops, expect the unexpected and maybe some popcorn-worthy chaos. Remember, smash that like and subscribe button like it's a game-winning buzzer beater.